The light rains awaken the young grass as thunder heralds the dawn of spring. For farmers, idle days now pass, and to the tilling they begin. Soil and water. Soil is one of the most important natural resources for plant growth. Soil water provides the plant's needs for water and nutrients. Plants uptake water through their roots. Water passes through the xylem to the leaves. It is then released into the atmosphere through a process called evapotranspiration. Soil moisture affects the flow of nutrients to plants and the activity of organisms in the ground. The solution in the soil is generally called soil water. Soil water and gases exist in the pore spaces between soil particles. Water is held in the soil by capillary and surface absorption forces. The size of the pore influences how strongly water is held and how readily water may be transmitted through the soil. The narrower the water-filled pores and the thinner the water films, the greater the soil water holding force and the more difficult it is for plants to uptake water or for water to move. When soil water is insufficient, plants absorb less water. This, in turn, affects normal photosynthesis and respiration processes, stunting growth and wilting the plant. But if there is too much water in the soil and the soil is unable to expel this surplus, the plant roots may die for lack of oxygen. The rate and direction of water movement through soil is determined by hydraulic potential and conductivity. Water moves from zones of high hydraulic potential to zones of low potential. Movement will continue until potential equilibrium is reached. The Earth's water moves in a cycle. When water infiltrates into the soil, part of it continues down to the lower layer of pore space to become groundwater. The rest flows in the direction of the terrain surface layer to rivers, lakes, and seas. The water that is retained in the top layer of the soil or flows into rivers and seas is evaporated into the atmosphere by the heat of the sun. This vapor condenses into rain. Raindrops seep into the soil, starting the whole cycle again. In the life cycle of water, soil plays the important roles of transmission filtration, and storage. Soil and water, it provides the base for water to sustain both nature and human life. Our sustenance is born of soil and water.